Hi guys, I'm Monica and we're Perfect Balance Wellbeing in Russell Square, where day to day we see plenty of clients dealing with osteoporosis and osteopenia. Now, we've done a lot of talking about how nutrition can positively affect it, uh, what are the overall benefits of a lifestyle change to manage the condition, but we haven't actually said the specific effects, the physiological effects that the exercise has on our skeletal system. When we talk about skeletal system, we talk about our bones, our joints, our ligaments and the cartilage that protects the joint from the wear and tear. So we're going to have a look at the short and long term effect of exercise on the skeletal, the skeletal system now. Number one, increased synovial fluid production. Now, Bones have little to no blood supply, therefore to keep them nourished and healthy, your body produces an oil-like substance called synovial fluid. This is produced by, by synovial membranes and it serves the, joint, the protection of the joint and keeps it healthy, nourished and lubricated. Now, in order to see the effects of it, you need to keep up and maintain a healthy and regular exercise routine to make sure that there's a constant steady flow of the synovial fluid from your joints. Number two, increased range of motion. Increased synovial fluid production increases the mobility within the joint. Often you could probably experience that after certain periods of inactivity, the joints feel a little bit stiffer and they lose some of their range of motion and they lose the ability to move fully freely. The more you move, the more synovial fluid is produced and the more mobile your joints are. Number three, increased bone density. High impact weight bearing exercises put stress through your bones. As a response to that stress, your body produces cells called osteoblasts, which are responsible for building your bones. Now, as a result of that, the bones that are being built are stronger and denser and can be a huge benefit to preventing osteoporosis. Now, this is particularly important for people at the higher risk groups, and that will be elderly and women around the menopausal age. Number four, stronger ligaments. Your bones are being held together by non-elastic strap-like structures called ligaments. Now, these have very little to none blood supply, therefore any benefit to it or any difference that the exercise will make will take a longer period of time and is classified as a longer term benefit from exercise. What you get as a result of a regular long term routine is stronger ligaments, more stability and a less risk of misalignment of your joint. So guys, these are the four main benefits of the physical exercise on the skeletal system and at bone health. If you want to find out more, if you have any questions pertaining to the condition, please comment in the section below or share us a message and one of our team members will be more than happy to answer. Have a great day.